For this year's 2020 HackSeq RNA COVID-19 Ultra Hackathon, our team tackled modeling potential RNA-RNA interactions in SARS-CoV-2. My name is Dr. Amber Paulson and I proposed and led this project. The aim was to predict interaction networks between viral microRNAs and structured elements found in the human transcriptome. We also integrated SARS-CoV-2 transcriptome data from Kim et al. First, we identified RNA structures in the SARS-CoV-2 transcriptome. Next, we modeled the RNA-RNA interactions and then visualized our networks. I'm happy to report our team made great progress and I'm gonna let the team share with you some of the data coming out of our pipeline. I'm going to give an overview of the project pipeline. We took the nearly 500 subgenomic RNAs from the SARS-CoV-2 transcriptome, and then we removed the redundancy using CD-HIT. Our pipeline then split into two parts. The first was that we took the RNA structures that had previously been modeled from the genome and mapped these to our subgenomic RNAs. The second part was to create new structures for the discontinuous regions that wouldn't have been modeled in this genome version, and then modeled our own structures using RNA fold. Following this, both sets of structures were then put through HuntMe, which predicts which structures could be pre microRNA candidates. Following this, microRNAs were predicted using mature bays. Finally, viral microRNAs and host mRNA interactions were modeled using RNA plex. On the next slide, Anna is going to talk about the models that we made using RNA fold. We analyzed the discontinuous regions of subgenomic RNAs for secondary structure. For each subgenomic RNA, the discontinuous region was split into three windows and the windows were analyzed separately. Here you can see the distribution of minimum free energy values for the predicted structures. The x-axis shows the range of energy values and the y-axis shows the number of structures that have the respective energy. The smaller the energy value is, the more stable the structure is. We used the cutoff of minus 20 to filter out less stable structures, and we got roughly 300 predicted secondary structures that were used for further analysis. Hi everyone, my name is Jason and I'm part of the visualization team. And this weekend we identified about 10 pre-micro RNAs uh, from the subgenome of the virus transcriptome. And using this R script I wrote, which depends on biostrings, SeqNR, uh, rRNA, and Stringer. We were able to get some 2D images. So let me just run it and you can see as well. Cool, right? All right, thanks for watching. To plot the network of the subgenomic and microRNAs, we used cytoscape.js, uh, which on the fly can generate networks based on the nodes and edges that are provided. Um, we have five of our sample sets here uh, in which we're able to zoom in, zoom out. We can uh, move the graph around. We can move different nodes around. Um, and we can also click on the edges to get some more data, uh, including the delta G number. Um, this data was already filtered to below 25 delta G, negative 25 delta G. Um, but the coloring on the edges also indicates further um, beyond that negative 25. For future work, we hope to expand our pipeline to other data sets and fine tune the structural network. We'd like to thank our team lead and other members that worked on this project. Thank you to RNA Society and HackSeq 2020 for organizing this event and Compute Canada for computational resources. And we wanna thank Ramya for structural prediction discussions. Thank you again.